Welcome back, everybody. And today we're taking you on a field trip. Maybe you're in the market for a new car. Maybe you just want to dream a little bit and try out something on your wish list. Yeah, it's fun to dream. It is. Maybe you've always dreamt of getting behind the wheel of a Mustang or some other really cool car. Well, either way, the Pittsburgh Auto Show is the place to be. But while our visions of cars have changed over the years, so have our visions of the people working on those cars. Mikey Hood meets a young tech and her mentor who are changing stereotypes by pursuing their passion. I know. My work is primarily the opposite gender, but I actually I don't mind it at all. Gracie Renzel is a technician at Crivelli Ford in Hopewell. Sometimes I don't have the strength to do certain things, like F-250 tires, so they're pretty big, and so I think it's probably funny for customers across the shop watching me try to like lift it and put it up on, because I'm only five foot one. <laughs> and there's a lot of things that I still don't know, and that I'm continuing to learn, but I have a great team around me that's willing to help support me and teach me the things that are going to make me better. One way or another, like I still want to do it. I'm going to get the job done. Just a little, a little switch right here, and We're then we're going to put your bar up right here so it doesn't fall on your head. She started at CCAC, originally majoring in business. I ended up walking into the garage that they have there full of like just a shop just like this and talked to a couple teachers and they explained to me how the program worked. I sat in a couple classes. The Ford Asset Program is a two-year associate degree program that works with CCAC students, local neighborhood Ford and Lincoln dealers to give students real-world experience. Bob Cook teaches students in the program at the CCAC West Campus. They learn how to service the vehicle from brakes, steering, suspension, automatic transmissions, uh, manual transmissions, engine control systems, analog brakes from literally one end of the bumper to the other end of the bumper. Women, men, it doesn't matter. We can all do these careers. You're going to look for the little icon of your windshield here. Gracie says simple things like filling the windshield wiper fluid are important. You're going to pour it right here. here. Oh, yep. Let's see. You got it. Oh, steady hand here. Okay, you got I'm it, still you got it. a little bit. It's okay. It's, it's going to happen. Most of it is going in. She says she's fortunate to work and learn from a woman in the industry, too. She is the owner of her own dealership, and she has started from nothing and worked her way to the top. Kathy Wagler, owner of Crivelli Ford, started in the automotive industry in high school. Here I am, 30 years owning this Ford dealership here in Hopewell Township. It's the only thing I know, I guess, and it's something that I really love. Since she's been in the industry, technology in cars has advanced, and so has their efficiency. This is a Ford Maverick. It's an entry-level vehicle that would be perfect for these students to haul their stuff around in. When I finish a car and knowing that that's something that I did and that no one else can take that away from me. So we're going to pull this out. We're going to check it one more time. And you can see how that one was a little bit more clear. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect. This is a man's world when it's not. Like, I can do it, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it, Gracie. So we're back at the Pittsburgh Auto Show. And just like you saw Gracie in the video, there are several young people here for the Career Day Neighborhood Ford store, and it is bustling. Look how busy it is already. And all of these kids are looking to get into the automotive industry. But I have someone who I want you to meet. This is Paul Buchek. He is a regional manager for Ford. And Paul, you started out as a technician. Yeah, Mikey. I mean, almost 30 years ago, it's hard to believe, but uh, that's that's the great thing about the industry is you can go to the corporate side or so many opportunities that the students today have with going to our dealerships and being technicians there. Yeah, and speaking of students, it is busy out there. How important is it for students to get involved in the industry? It's so important. We have such a shortage of technicians, and this is such a different industry now. From when I started to today, now you're on a laptop more diagnosing vehicles than you did when I was there, like under a hood turning wrenches. Yeah. All right, Paul. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to head back out here to career day, learn a little bit more for myself, and maybe meet a few of these students. It's a lot of fun out here. What a great opportunity, too, to learn something and to have that job waiting for you, and so really cool for you to showcase that. All right, we'll see you in a bit, yeah, it's, Mikey. It's great out here, guys. See ya. Bye. Oh, in a bit. <laughs> you know what? And he was talking about this, and we all jobs change over time. Absolutely. But being a technician or a mechanic, think about all the new things that they have to learn oh, and sure. step with because the cars keep changing, too. Absolutely. Yeah.